Rishalawam. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakaha Kodash, from Taviar Gobar, from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophets of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp, and double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation all down to the whole crew elect, scattered abroad, pushing out this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. Right? And, you know, today's class is going to be about how when you fall out of this truth, that, um, you know, several more demons, evil, evil spirits, will. Um, continue on in your temple, which is your body, you know. Alright, because before we even enter in this truth, you know, we are, you know, we already have evil spirits in us, which is, which is, um, that old man, you know, being out in the world, whatever we, wickedness we was doing. Before we got this truth of us being an Israelite, you know, we had evil spirits on us then, you know. But, you know, after receiving this truth, uh, obviously those demons exercise off of you because you start <coughs> uh, living in the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is, you know, righteousness. All right, but once you ask for the truth, once you, you know, stop serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and want to go back into the world, which is that old man which you were. That's when um those demons will come on you. All right. Which I'm gonna get no this later. <sighs> All right, this is Luke eleven and twenty four. When he when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. So that's when you first hear this truth and you find out you are Israelite. You know, that unclean spirit hops, it departs from your body. Because then you receive light. You're not living in dark, darkness no more. You know, once you find you're out, you are Israelite. And you know the stuff you have been doing to offend the Lord. Once you find out about that, uh, you know that them that un that unclean spirit leaves your body. All right, he walking through dry places seeking rest. So that unclean spirit will leave your body and try to find you know someone else to hop on and finding. None. He says, I will return into my house whence I came out. All right. That's what the demon is saying. I'm going to return back to my house. And when he comes and finds it, it's swept and garnished. So, going to anybody who fall out of this truth, you know, who stopped believing or didn't believe in the first place, who was just faking it. Faking the funk the whole time. You know, once that person falls out and you know they want to go back in the world, they do. And they temple, you know, <laughs> from when they fell out. And when, before they were serving, uh, you know, their bodies them going back into the world 
fresh from serving y'all by showing y'all with shine. You know, they're clean from those evil spirits. All right. But once they go back into the world, the evil spirit find it's, you know, that same person it was once dwelling in. Once they find them, they're going to find, you know, that temple, that whatever, that person, all right, nice and swept and garnished, all right, kind of like you moving out of the house and then whatever happens, all right, say you move back in the house you move in it's all empty and swept nice and clean you know luke 11 and 25 and when he cometh he find it it swept and garnished <coughs> then goeth he and take it to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself so you know not only did that old demon that you had on you come back on you after you fall out of the truth, whether it be, you know, a smoking demon or fucking whatever, whatever demon Jake had uh, before it came to its truth, and now after turn his back on the truth um that demon comes back as several other more demons whether it whatever it may be you know so the, the smoking demon back now a damn freaking suicidal demon is there now you're getting suicidal thoughts. All right? You got to have a smoke and you're getting these suicidal thoughts or, or a homosexual demon hop on you, you know? Or, um, you know, a, a murderous demon, a lazy demon, all right? Seven other more demons come. So now, you know, your estate is more wicked than when you first came in, you know. And, and that's the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, the Lord controls the left hand side, too. You know. Then goeth he and take it to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last estate of that man is worse than the first. You know, you fall out of this truth is better than you not hearing this truth at all. All right. Scripture speaks about, you know, that whatever getting beaten with many stripes you know <sighs> okay but just wanted to make a video on that all right you know once you Hear this truth is better to continue on. Um, <laughs> quick testimony. I know, I remember following this one Israelite woman. You know, she was an Ephraimite or whatever. And she knew about the truth. You know, she posts videos of her head wrapping. Her and the head wrap and Bible quotes and all that. You know how these women do. Then she just disappeared and I wonder like what happened to her or whatever. You know, then I seen her shortly after I wondered, the Lord revealed to me, you know, she's all which I did a video on her, you know, she's all
crazy, crazy looking with a damn, a, a giant butcher, butcher knife in her hand, you know, was, and she had a dark cutness about her, you know, which, that's, that's an example right there, you know, which these women are not really in the truth like a man is, but just showing you the before and after, you know, a man, he could be in the camp prophesying, you know, doing videos, then next moment, you know, he start losing that grip, start doing stuff, and then next thing you know, he's he back in the world, you know, works both ways, but uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakaha Fadash. I'm Taziyar Gabar from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophets of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp. The barnes to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation on down to the Oak Lake. All right, I'm going to say Shalom, Abba, Babal, soon.